Good morning! We are almost ready and we are going to go to breakfast and then we are going to the Mayan ruins today so that will be really exciting! Um, so here is my outfit of the day. Alright, the door does not want to stay open. I thought the sunglasses were cool. <laughs> so I had to wear them in the outfit of the day. Golden pineapples! And of course, comfortable walking shoes because we're going to be walking a lot. Alright, ah, <laughs> I'll see you at breakfast. Happy day. <laughs> we gotta get on a boat. Alton Hopper, first of all, means rock, stone, water. The site 
was discovered from the late 1950s by one of the local villagers. How the site was discovered is that they were doing quarrying to build the road that we were on. Jade is not native to Belize, it comes all the way from the Motagua Valley in Guatemala. So to have jade in this area, archaeologists already knew that it was a, a Maya site. <laughs> All right, conquistadores. <laughs> if you want to take pictures, family pictures, feel free to do so at this time when. In this area, it is where all activities would happen. Back in the Maya era, everything here would be very festive. People, or all these Maya people, would have their goods or whatever they came to trade in this area, which kind of looks like a spaceship landing area, right? Mm -hmm. What would happen is back then, these buildings would be painted with red paint and green, and this floor that we're standing on right now would be of all white limestone. Mm -hmm. The floor that we're on right now is raised seven meters above plaza level, so this is not the original floor. For instance, in the building behind you, Temple A1 is known to us as the Temple of the Green Tomb. Why the Temple of the Green Tomb? Because the priest or the ruler that was buried there was buried with over 300 pieces of jade. That means that he is a very important person. But back then the Maya people also believed in reincarnation. They believed that when you die, you do not really die, you just change form. So whenever you die, you get buried with all your belongings. So that whenever you come back in the afterlife, you have all, the pos all your possessions and you just come back and everything is still yours. Building directly to Amalia's left, that was said to be dedicated to the rain god Chap. What they're doing, if you notice these buildings, the white square part of these buildings, they are all original. The brown circular stones, those are restoration work or the building to my left hand side this is said to be the building of the bowling alley bowling alley because of the the way it is constructed like a bowling alley the doorway with the slash holders it is said that whatever took place in that building was concealed from the public also was found a female buried in a fetal position in that building she was also buried with stingray spine and an anklet what does this tell us? This tells us that Alton Ha was used as a ceremonial center. Why? Because tin ray spine was used to do bloodletting rituals. How many of you are familiar with bloodletting rituals? How many of you had experience with bloodletting rituals? <laughs> <laughs> Is they would take a white linen and they would put it in the area so that the blood could flow. For a female, the most important part of the body would be pierced, the tongue. All male can tell you that the female has a very powerful tongue. They can convince them into doing whatever they want. They will take the stingray spines and put it in an up and down motion, let the blood flow on that linen. They will throw it in the fire with incense and burn it. The smoke goes up as offerings to their gods. Also, the male would be pierced at a very important area. And it's not the tongue. No. Made it to the top. You made it. I made it. You made it. It is harder than you think, isn't it? No. I mean, it just looks like Thank steps, you. but the steps are huge. Temple of the Sun God, I'm about to climb it. Uh, there's a sun god right there. <laughs> Alright. Straight up.
You made it. Yay. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Right? Oh, oh wow. Everything looks fine from up here. In Spanish, they call it masa pan. Breadfruit. We are back from on the boat uh, from Belize. We're still kind of docked in a way. We're not at a dock, so we're docked when you're not at a dock. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> we um, of course went and we saw some land ruins. I get to climb up on a couple of them. That was pretty awesome. And then when we got back to the port area, there was uh, this thing they gave us when we got off the ship where we could go to a couple of different um, Places and they would give us something for free. So I guess that's it. Now I am about to get ready for dinner and we still have a little bit of time, but um, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to go. So see you later. Okay, here's my dinner outfit of the night. Are you sure there's a party out? More bread. The peach of only course. About that peach cream soup. Mm. That was roasted duck and caramelized oranges. There's raspberries. Unfortunately, I don't like raspberries. <laughs> All right, I got this glass of wine so that Aunt Doris could have her glass. Chicken breast. I'll give you one more. Ooh, isn't that good? Uh, one more nap. It's the only reason why I got that. It's for Aunt Doris. What is that? Now what is that? Lamb shank. Ooh. Did you get that? Well, we Seafood meat. different. Ah, oh, almost got that. I was really close to forgetting to take a picture before I did this. Mm. Room service just knocked on my door and brought me this. Oh my gosh. I mean, we just came back from dinner and I just changed into my swimsuit. And so I'm like so full from dinner. But oh my goodness. Look at that. <laughs> that makes me feel like I've lost a lot of money. <laughs> but at least I got some chocolate covered strawberries out of it. <laughs> and the best part is I didn't lose my money. I lost their money. Um, I'm only down $30 now, so, <laughs> I don't know, <gasps> whatever happens on the fun chip stays on the fun chip. <laughs> Look at this, Andoris, did you see it? 
Oh, for God's sake. Did you not see it? I did not see it. How long have you been in this room and not seen it? I just, I just, you just came back? Oh, okay. About five minutes. That's too cute. All right, I am saying good night for today. Um, it's been a long, very busy day. Um, when we got back to the ship, there wasn't really a whole lot going on tonight on the ship, so we kind of had dinner and went to the pool. <laughs> um, I went and watched Divergent um, in the dive-in for a little bit, um, but that's about it. But earlier today, it was a lot busier and two really busy active days in a row and so tomorrow we are actually taking a um, like beach break day so um, we've actually paid for like an all-inclusive um, beach pool day <laughs> kind of thing um, so we're gonna do that and then hopefully tomorrow after a relaxing at the beach all day <laughs> Um, I will do zip lining, hopefully. I really, really, really want to do it, and everybody tells me that that's like the one thing that I really have to do, um, second to, or maybe even above, like the dolphin sun. So we did the dolphins, and now I want to do the zip line. So that's kind of on the schedule for tomorrow. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, once again, no exercise whatsoever. Um, at least not like apart from what we did. I did go up the stairs, um, nine flights of floor, no, nine flights of stairs <laughs> um, once today. I took the stairs several times, um, you know, within three floors. So a lot of stairs, but no exercise. Um, and there was some walking at the mine ruins, but like not very much at all actually. Oh yeah, I did take the Mayan stairs, <laughs> um, but I, it doesn't feel like I've done any exercise in like a week, so uh, I'm just gonna gain the weight and then work it back off. It's vacation. <laughs> Saying goodnight, so goodnight. <laughs>